Hello, this is the Cambridge Flyers Listening Test. Part 1. Listen and look. There is one example. Look at my picture, Dad. These are my friends in our gym lesson today. Amazing. But why isn't everyone doing the same thing? Because this was before the teacher came in. Oh, who's that? The boy in the blue baseball cap who wants to play golf. That's William. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. The girl who's skipping is wearing a bandage. Yes, that's Katie. She hurt her elbow when she fell over in the playground. Just before this lesson then? No, in the break yesterday. Can you see Harry? Who's he? The boy with the enormous ball? No, the one who's holding the rings with his feet in the air. He wins all kinds of competitions. He's got strong arms then? Yes, and he likes doing dangerous things. And who's that? The girl who's standing on the yellow stripe? Under the basketball net? No. She's wearing orange trainers. And a spotted T-shirt. That's Sophia. She's the most popular girl in the class. And there's Richard. He's wearing his new gloves. You wear those for cycling, really. Perhaps he just wants to make sure he doesn't hurt his hands. Perhaps. The boy who's trying to stop him from throwing the ball is his best friend. They're in the same volleyball team. Oh. And who's that? Do you mean the girl in the striped skirt? Yes. What was she whispering about? I don't know, but her name's Holly. OK. So what did you all do when the teacher arrived? We played basketball. Our team won. Now listen to part one again. The girl who's skipping is wearing a bandage. Yes, that's Katie. She hurt her elbow when she fell over in the playground. Just before this lesson then? No, in the break yesterday. Can you see Harry? Who's he? The boy with the enormous ball? No. The one who's holding the rings with his feet in the air. He wins all kinds of competitions. He's got strong arms then? Yes, and he likes doing dangerous things. And who's that? The girl who's standing on the yellow stripe. Under the basketball net? No, she's wearing orange trainers. And a spotted T-shirt. That's Sophia. She's the most popular girl in the class. And there's Richard. He's wearing his new gloves. You wear those for cycling, really. Perhaps he just wants to make sure he doesn't hurt his hands. Perhaps. The boy who's trying to stop him from throwing the ball is his best friend. They're in the same volleyball team. Oh. And who's that? Do you mean the girl in the striped skirt? Yes. What was she whispering about? I don't know, but her name's Holly. OK. So what did you all do when the teacher arrived? We played basketball. Our team won. That is the end of part one.
Part 2. Listen and look. There is one example. Hi, Emma. Are you going to join the new science club? I've only heard a little bit about it, but yes, I'd like to. Which day of the week will that be, Mrs. Kind? It'll be every Wednesday, Emma, after school. Okay, that sounds fine. Great. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Who'll be our teacher for this club? It won't be me. It'll be a new teacher called Mr. Dwight. I think everyone will really like him. Cool. Do you spell his name D-W-I-G-H-T? Yes, that's correct. Well done. Thanks. And when will the club actually start? In the first week of next term, let me just look in my diary. That's the 12th of September. I'll tell my parents. And where do we have to go? Will it be in the big room on the third floor? Where we go for dance practice? Room number 35? No, this club will be in room 47. Do you know where that is? No, but I'll find it. Or I'll ask someone on the day. No problem. All right. Will we have to take anything with us? Like money? Mum will want to know. Yes, she will. No, just bring your tablet. You won't need anything else. Okay. What are we going to do? Do you know yet? Well, I know you'll do a project. Really? What about? Space. Great. Our class had lots of fun when we did a project on insects. Well, this will be fun too, I'm sure. Now listen to part two again. Who'll be our teacher for this club? It won't be me. It'll be a new teacher called Mr. Dwight. I think everyone will really like him. Cool. Do you spell his name D-W-I-G-H-T? Yes, that's correct. Well done. Thanks. And when will the club actually start? In the first week of next term. Let me just look in my diary. That's the 12th of September. I'll tell my parents. And where do we have to go? Will it be in the big room on the third floor? Where we go for dance practice? Room number 35? No, this club will be in room 47. Do you know where that is? No, but I'll find it. Or I'll ask someone on the day. No problem. All right. Will we have to take anything with us? Like money? Mum will want to know. Yes, she will. No, just bring your tablet. You won't need anything else. Okay. What are we going to do? Do you know yet? Well, I know you'll do a project. Really? What about? Space. Great. Our class had lots of fun when we did a project on insects. Well, this will be fun too, I'm sure. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Mrs. Ride is telling Robert about a meeting with some of her old school friends. Where does each person live now? Hi, Mrs. Ride. You look happy. Hello, Robert. Yes, I've just been at a meeting with some of my old classmates. It was lots of fun. One of them is a famous artist now. Wow! 
Does she live near you? No, she lives in a castle. Amazing. Can you see the letter F? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. Another one of my old friends is a singer. I enjoyed chatting to him. Did you? Yes. He lives in the north of the country at the top of a skyscraper. Will you go and visit him one day? Perhaps. I'm not sure. I'm always so busy.